Hey friends of Keyclock, nice to see you again. Have you ever heard about step up authentication or elevated authentication and things like level of authentication and uh, authentication context class reference? No? So then let's try to get some light into this darkness and uh, I'll show you how to get uh, step up authentication done right with Keycloak. Grab yourself a coffee, make yourself comfortable, and let's start. So what is step up authentication? Let's try to explain it in a simple use case. You have an application where you have some more or less um, sections where users can just visit with their regular authentication like username and passwords. And then there are parts of your application where you have to make sure that the current user is really the user um, uh, he's uh, authenticated and um, you want to make sure that the user is authenticated by asking for um, a password again or asking for a second factor or such things. That is step up authentication when your application um, requires another step to elevate the uh, user's authentication to another step, to the next step. That's why it's called step up authentication. And that is all client related. The client has to require um, a certain level of authentication. That's in other um, uh, other term, level of authentication. You have different levels of authentication. So the regular level by um, authentication, authenticating with a regular username and password is one. And then you can um, step up the authentication, the level of authentication to two, three, or four, or whatever you like. And um, to uh, get some um, some better handling for the levels of authentication, there is also an authentication class context reference, or is it called uh, authentication context class reference? That's what it's called. And uh, that's the ACR value. And um, there is a mapping between the ACR value and the level of authentication. So perhaps you have uh, some um, less important information in your application, uh, which just require username and password. And then you have some sensitive parts in your application, which requires, um, uh, for example, a second factor like uh, invoicing data or payment data, whatever. So that's a, a pretty basic use case for uh, using step up authenticating. Let's switch to Keycloak and um, have a look how it is configured in Keycloak, what you have to do in Keycloak and what you have to do in your application. So we are here in uh, my demo realm and my demo bookshop realm. I'm using for various um, scenarios, various examples. And in my realm settings of uh, my bookshop realm, I have an ACR to lower mapping. So ACR, the um, authentication context class reference to a level of authentication mapping. Here we map um, some terms of the ACR, of the um, authentication context class reference to the levels of authenticating. So I have um, configured three basic and simple um, ACR values like bronze, or silver and gold um, mapped to Level of, uh, uh, level of authentications of 0, 1, and 2. That's what you have to do on the realm level, just to define um, your ACR levels and uh, level of authentication uh, mappings. And uh, to get this work with Keycloak, you have to define um, an authentication flow, just switch to the authentication. And I prepared a browser step up um, authenticating flow and this looks pretty simple, like uh, having the regular cookie authentication. So when the user is uh, already authenticated from another um, application, from another client coming to your current application, the user will be uh, authenticated. Then the user will be authenticated with the cookie. And the cookie is always um, level of authentication zero. That's built in in Keycloak. And um, then you have uh, the subflow where we define the um, level of authentication options. In the subflow for uh, level of authentications, you have um, the first condition for the basic or the silver condition. 
it's a conditional subflow, you have a condition as the first step, and that's um, the silver condition. And um, you can configure this here, you have to configure it um, and tell Keycloak the level of um, authentication. It's a one and how, um, how um, old the level um, might become in during the lifetime. So the default is uh, 10 hours, like the default session max uh, time in Keycloak is also 10 hours. So we have this um, silver condition for um, level of authentication one. And um, with this um, LOA one and the silver ACR value, this is bound the username password form. So if you authenticate with username and password, you get the um, level of authentication one, you get the ACR value silver. And then you have the gold condition or the advanced condition. It's pretty the same um, um, conditional subflow and the same uh, condition, but now your condition is configured to have the level of authentication two, uh, which is mapped to gold in our real mappings. And uh, in our case, for example, um, I have a much more lo lower um, lifetime of this um, level. So this is just 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, um, the user will be fall back to the silver, to the basic condition, to a level of authentication one. Um, so you can, um, can control how long a user um, might be in a, in a certain level of authentication. And in my example, uh, I just repeated uh, the password form so that the user just has to enter the password. Uh, but of course, you can um, use whatever credential uh, you like. So OTP, for example, or passkey, um, whatever comes up to your mind. So that's the basic um, authentication flow um, we need to have. And then um, we can um, go to our application and um, look for, uh, how our application works with all that. I go to the clients and I have my uh, demo application running on uh, localhost 3000. It's a RegJS application and I just have to uh, authenticate and I'm authenticated, I'm in the application and I have with the default authentication of uh, username and password, um, the level of authentication one, the ACR value silver. Remember the mapping in the realm um, settings, level of authentication one is mapped to silver. That's what we had here. Level of authentication one, it is silver. And in our application, we just authenticated with username and password and got the um, ACR value silver. And we have now a button for the step up authentication to go to gold. And we have a look into the token and that's exactly the silver what is in the token contained under the claim ACR, the authentication context class reference. If we now hit the gold button, we just redirect it to Keycloak with a regular um, authentication request but the request contains the information uh, for the uh, for the required ACR level or the, the required ACR uh, value. And depending on the ACR value, Keycloak knows what uh, level of authentication will be required. And uh, there's somewhere here in the in the URL we have some thing like where is it? Just have to search for it. Here it is. Uh, we have uh, the claims ID token ACR values gold. That's where we uh, tell Keycloak that we want to have an authentication context class reference of gold. And Keycloak knows from the mapping in the realm settings, gold is level of uh, authentication two. And in the authenticating flow, um, we have to re or we have to uh, provide our password again, entering the password and we're getting back to the application like a regular um, authentication request, but now with the value of gold. And we're, if we uh, have a look into the access token, we see the ACR claim is um, set to gold. And as the gold level just is valid for 10 seconds, we can now do a refresh of the page and um, the newly created token will now have only 
again the silver ACR value because the gold value is older than 10 seconds and will be uh, set back to silver. So reloading the application sets it to silver and we can go again this way, entering the password, going back to the application and have the gold value. And again, after 10 seconds, just doing a few refreshes, uh, we will be set back to the silver level. Now let's switch to the code of our application and see what this um, step up gold button is doing actually. In the React code, the um, HTML and JavaScript code, we have uh, the button uh, and on here, it's uh, just a regular link and uh, the onclick event, we're just calling the login action on uh, the keycloak library. Um, it's just a regular keycloak library, JavaScript library. And uh, we are providing the options, ACR value gold um, together for the login request. And uh, the library is uh, creating the authentication uh, URL with the options, with the ACR values gold options. And um, so, that the uh, keyclock server will understand that now when the button is pressed and the um, ACR value gold is contained in the URL, that um, the gold level is um, requested from the client side application. And uh, yeah, that's how it works. You just have to reinitiate uh, uh, another authentication request together with the request uh, the required ACR values. And um, if you do this, uh, then you will get to the um, authentication flow with the proper condition, depending on what you have requested, uh, the silver level or the gold level, um, or um, depending on the ACR to lower mapping in the um, in the, the realm settings, uh, Keyclock can translate our, it was uh, gold was requested, gold has the value two. And with the value two, I have to um, execute this authentication. And uh, we have the first condition, oh, the user has already done authentication for level one uh, with the username password. We don't have to re-authenticate um, re the user with username password, we are already um, uh, did this successfully, we can go straight forward to uh, the gold condition um, for the level of authentication two and just request um, the, the credential mentioned in the authentication flow, like the password form for our example, which is here. And then we're authenticating, coming back to the application. Application just works um, uh, like a regular auth um, authentication request and can read the proper ACR value from the token. Now you know about the magic behind level of authentication, ACR value like the authentication context class reference and what it's about step up authentication. All this is not really magic, it's just configuration stuff in Keycloak and in your application. So I hope you liked this video. If yes, then give me some thumbs up, leave some comments in, um, uh, in the video section and um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if not already done so. Turn on the bell so that you don't miss any of my other videos in future. And uh, so long, stay tuned, hope to see you soon, bye bye.